I'm Mel Simons, welcome to Creek to Coast. Today, girls are doing it for themselves. Now, I might look like I'd be more interested in a nail bar, but this weekend, I'm getting behind a bull bar to hone my four-wheel driving skills. Now, being a bit of a rookie, I've called upon Creek to Coast four-wheel driving expert, Roger Vickery. Thanks, Roger. And this weekend also has a touch of glamour. Let me show you what we've got in store. Kingfisher Bay Resort plays host to Girls Got Grit Weekend. But this weekend has also got glamour. We girls are going to get dirty and fabulous. Let's start at the beginning. I need a car. This is the crew car. Good, functional, comfortable. What do I need? I'm a mum, I need a bit of space. Hmm, where should I go? Motorama Group have been with Creek to Coast since the beginning. They've got us everywhere we wanted to go. Motorama Group have humble beginnings back in 1959 as a service station on the Gold Coast, and it's still a family-owned business today. Meet Renee, 4x4x by four by more expert. This girl knows grit. I'm part of the 4x4x4 by four by more club here, um, so I take a lot of our clients out four-wheel driving to teach them the basics and get started. Um, so basically what I do need to know is what you're after, so what do you need in the four-wheel drive? Where do I start? Sand, grit, I need a bit of space and comfort because I'm a mum, so... Yeah, absolutely. What I would start with, um, you've got a couple of different options. Mm -hmm. So you can go for a ute if you have a lot of four-wheel drive tent, that sort of gear um, that you want to put in the back. Otherwise, you can go for more of an SUV feel. Um, it gives you a lot more space, a little bit more comfortable for the kids. So the SUV is probably for yeah. me, do you think? Yeah, I think so. Oh, think? Yeah. Come on over and have a look at the Trailblazer. Can I jump in? Hop on in. Nice car. It's, it's huge. <laughs> Even though it's quite big, it is really easy to drive. Most people are buying automatic four-wheel drives now. Terrific. So talk to me about the high range and low range. Yeah. What's the difference? <laughs> so basically, um, low range is just to get you through the tricky stuff. Yeah. Um, nice and slow, keeps you in the low gears. Uh, so nice and easy. Uh, mostly using that when it's a little bit slippery, um, if you're going downhill uh, and it's quite slow. High range is for what you would use in um, in your soft sand. So when you're trying to get down into the to the hard sand, um, that's what you would use as the preference. Makes sense, and you just change it here. Yeah, so that's called a shift on the fly four wheel drive. Um, so really nice and easy to use. You can flick it from two, two wheel drive to high range four wheel drive, anywhere up to 100 k's an hour. So you don't need to stop anymore. I'm getting really excited. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Now I look the part of the Creek to Coast family, and so the weekend begins. Roger, I'm Brizzy born and bred, but I've never been to Fraser. Isn't that terrible? Oh, it's not so bad. You, you're going there now. That's the important thing. <laughs> it is, it is. I feel like I'm cheating, though, because I'm bringing the four-wheel drive expert, but there are very different skills you need to learn for four-wheel driving as opposed to driving on the road, aren't there? Totally different, Mel, completely different. But the best thing is you are going to do it and learn while you're doing it. So that, that's the easy bit. I actually drive a four-wheel drive on the road, but I've, I've never been off-road yet. So I'm one of those kind of soccer mums, I guess, that really need to learn how to use the car properly. Very much looking forward to it. What equipment do I need? I've got heaps of stuff and I've got you completely covered. Right. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think about the weather? I think it's pretty average right now, but I think that tomorrow it's going to be amazing. The sun's going to come up just when we need it. Yep. It's going to be good. Kingfisher Bay Resort is only a four hour drive from bustling Brisbane but you feel a world away as you're embraced by nature in this eco-friendly resort. I'm not alone in my longing to learn how to four-wheel drive and what better way to meet my companions than at Sundowners. We're not gonna let this weather stop us, are we girls? No. And guys, cheers. cheers. <laughs> this is Dave Darmody, four-wheel drive trainer and fashion advisor. Ladies, we've got lots of fun in the sun plan. This is gonna go away, this will be gone tomorrow and we've got 
beautiful Fraser Island waking up for us. So I've got you, a girl's got grit cap. Your choice, pink camo, khaki, whichever one you like. Girl's got grit. That's right, we do. <laughs> do it, Roger. Go, beauty. Go on. Oh, what a sport. <laughs> what a sport. <laughs> After the break, it will be time to get down and dirty. Morning, everyone. Hope you had a great night's sleep. This is our group, a group of women from different walks of life on a mission to grab the wheel and master the terrain. Old patrols are old. First, we have our briefing, how to stay safe and learn the lingo. It's not going to be, you go to 22, you go to 25, you go to 28. We're going to talk through the reasons why we're going to pick a tyre pressure. Before we get onto the soft stuff, we have to let down our tyres. There's any number of ways to let air out of your tyres. We choose to use the, the ARB version of this. There are cheaper versions of them out there. There's quality gear and there's entry level gear and eventually you're gonna regret the entry level gear. So it doesn't matter whether it's a tire deflator or your tires or your spotlights or your roof racks or whatever it is. There's companies out there that do the R&D, that produce the good stuff that you'll be happier you bought. So I listen to everything about tire pressure, but I still don't really know for my car what, what I need. It's, it's really, really simple. Your tyre is a big round thing. And that I know. A little piece of it, <laughs> a little piece of it touches, touches the road. Yep. And, and the softer the ground is, yep. the more that little piece wants to dig in. Sure, that makes sense. Yep. So what we're going to do is let your tyre down and make the bottom flat. So a really big oh. piece of tyre sits on the ground. Okay. So it spreads the load and it's got more grip. Right. How do I know how much I'm letting mine down? Well, that, that's a big story because it depends on the weight of the car. It depends on the, the height of the tyre. Like okay. a really low, low profile tyre, you can't let much out. So you've got good tyres, mm -hmm. fairly light car, and I reckon around 22, something like that'll be perfect. Okay, in here is our valve. Mm -hmm. What it does is let air in when you want to pump it up, but it doesn't let air out. As you attach the deflator, twist, and turn and you feel the valve move safely inside. Once we've got our valve unscrewed, we can grab this big bit, pull it back and release as much air as we like. There we go. You happy with that? I am if you are. <laughs> Done. Beautiful. Paradise has become a little soggy, <laughs> but everyone says it makes driving on sand easier. Although this might be too soggy. Still great. Woohoo! This is the purpose built test track on the grounds of Kingfisher Bay Resort. It's a way for us to safely learn how to navigate holes. Right, the Jerry coming through the wombat hole. Going uphill and down and learning to four-wheel drive in any conditions. Hot and dry, and today, wet. All under the watchful gaze of our instructor, Dave. <laughs> this is also the perfect opportunity to introduce you to some of my fearless compatriots of this girl's weekend. My name's Laurie, I'm from Mackay, and this is my daughter, Picaria. Hello. I'm a naturopath and an acupuncturist. And my day job is uh, designer accessories and jewellery designer. I'm doing this course because I've just bought myself a four-wheel drive and I've got a few trips planned and I thought it'd be a good idea to learn exactly what I'm doing the proper way. I'm here to spend time with my mother and learn how to four-wheel drive in a way that impacts the environment the least. Ready? Here we go. My co-driver, who also just happens to have a wealth of knowledge on all things Fraser Island, is Ranger Annie. So we're heading up Little Hill. Yes. What gear are you in? You're in low range? I'm in low range. Four wheel drive and drive. There's not really any other modes in this car to engage. Okay. So what we're looking for from you is a consistency of the problem. Trailblazer taking on Little Hill. <laughs> Nailed it. Thanks, girls, Dave and Roger. <laughs> That's so good. Roger can't help but share his expertise. Yeah. Red 200, rolling to the bottom of a little hill. Absolutely beautiful. They made it. 
Pajero Sport attempting a little bit. Yes! <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo! Go team! So we've completed our first task. We know the basics of four-wheel driving. We know our cars. We know our tyre pressure. Now we're on to the next step, or truck. Ready, Annie? Yep, we're ready. OK, let's go. We're on the track to beautiful Lake Mackenzie, just one of the natural wonders of Fraser Island. Why is the sand so white here? It's amazing. Oh, this beautiful sand, it's actually quartz or quartzite sand. Quartzite, 93% of Fraser Island is made up of this sand, quartzite, and uh, it's actually finer than a little grain of salt. So if you get a little piece of that in your finger, it is so tiny and it's actually crystal clear. When the sun and the water reflects on it, it actually brings out this white. On a, a clear sunny day, uh, the water is absolutely so blue and the sand is so white because that water and sun reflects on that quartzite sand and gives it that amazing colour. Before this beautiful day ends, we're invited to experience the tastes of Australia at Kingfisher Bay Resort. Thanks, welcome. And welcome to our lovely little program. Ranger Jay is one of the Butchula people from Fraser Island, and he loves nothing more than sharing his knowledge on local bush tucker. And then kind of smell of that. Very beautiful, yeah. <laughs> With our palettes primed, we've popped out our best frocks to put the glam into the Girls Got Grit Glamour Weekend. Meet our hostess, Monique, from Kingfisher Bay Resort. So we've done some grit and that was so much fun, but this is Girls Got Grit Glamour. Absolutely, because it's all about having an adventure on the tracks during the day, seeing the island, and then coming back and having a bit of glam, relaxing with a couple of bubbles. Kingfisher Bay Resort embraces the environment, doesn't it, around it? That's right. So Kingfisher Bay Resort was actually built as a purpose-built eco-resort, specifically designed to integrate and seamlessly enhance this World Heritage listed environment that you can see surrounding us. Alright, good morning Girls Got Grit, day two. Today we're heading to the beach. Let's get it in four-wheel drive and off we go. <laughs> the girls in our group have never been to Fraser Island and each of us revels in its beauty. <laughs> What's the problem? You can't get it all in. <laughs> Our eyes are just seeing so much magic and you look at the phone and so there's a tip. All the photos you see uh, times it by a thousand and then you get to really experience the beauty. This is actually a female tree, this tree here. Oh, really? How do we know that? Uh, well, if you have a look, if you look away the, the bark uh, twirls around to the right like this. Now, I can tell that that's a female tree because females are always right. <laughs> My name's Janae Patterson. My name's Tammy. We did this weekend because, one, we wanted to come to Fraser Island and see the beauty of it, and two, to learn how to four-wheel drive in a comfortable atmosphere. My favourite thing so far, I think, is just um, getting to know a really lovely bunch of women. Um, yeah, and pushing the car a little bit further than we would have normally been brave enough to push it. The great thing about this weekend is you not only get to four-wheel drive, you also get to explore. And look at that, I literally thought that was murky water, but it, the water is so clear, you can see the sand at the bottom. It's our final day and we're heading toward our graduation. Oh, here we are. Oh. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. It's great to see the ladies take wherever they, whatever learning or whatever knowledge they had when they arrived and then just take it further. And the four-wheel drive then just really does become, you know, we, we throw, around, throw around the words like escape machine, but they don't need to think about it anymore. They're, they're equipped, they're confident, and they can go and explore. Great, so I, I just love feeding off people's enthusiasm. I think I could do it a hundred times and I'd still be wow. Absolutely. Who 
would have thought, of all these now very competent four-wheel drivers, look who gets bogged. Roger, what happened? Well, all weekend I've been thinking you're going to get stuck and we're going to have to tow you out and you're going to learn something. You're too good, you're not getting stuck. So I've sort of got stuck so you can still learn something. You're going to get me out of trouble. Great, OK, well, you're going to have to help me to understand how, oh, Of course I will, of course yeah. I will. And we start in those drawers there. OK. Yep. What have we got here? Everything we need. The Weekender Recovery Kit, huh? Absolutely. OK, this is our strap. It's exactly like a rubber band. That's all it is. When we hook up the two cars, you're going to drive away, and this will stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch, and all of a sudden, I'll pop out of the bog hole. No one has ever really got badly hurt by a strap breaking. What they get hurt by is the bits of metal on the ends of the strap which tear off the car. Oh. So that's why we have this dampener, which we hang over the strap, so should anything break, it'll absorb the energy of the flying movement and slow it down. Clever. The, the biggest thing, the most important thing, is how you hook the strap to the car. That's the most important thing. Step one is my snatch strap training. With my car positioned in front of Rogers, time for the shackles. So you're going to thread that through there. Yep. Put it up to the big red recovery point. Yeah. Then you're going to feed this through and do it up. You have done it. Next step, attach the other end of the snatch strap to my car. Now, you know the old toe ball? So many people come along and they drop that on the toe ball mm. and they go, beauty. No. And it is like a missile <laughs> from hell when it snaps off. Once the hitch and pin are removed, push the strap into the hole and push the pin through the loop of the strap. Our last step is to attach the dampener. So I reckon that's about halfway. And there you have it. You are now ready to... To save you. Yeah. My damsel in distress. <laughs> that's me, yeah. <laughs> Righto, is your seatbelt on, Mel? Check, yes it is. You're in low range? I'm in low range. Third gear. Third gear, yes. Handbrake off. Yep. Righto, on my signal go, we will both go together. You ready? I am. Righto, go. <laughs> yeah! Stop me out of trouble, Mel, you've done it. You saved me, you can stop now. Okay, <laughs> thanks. That was fun. My name's Colleen Health. It's been much easier learning with a group of women. We've all got the same experience. Um, and the instructor, Dave, is very calm, very patient, and, uh, and he knows exactly, you know, what we're going through. I want hubby to come full driving with me next weekend. <laughs> it's, it's been an amazing weekend. I've learnt so much, and I'm just so excited to, to do it again. Final destination is the remains of the once glorious Mahino. I'm proud to say that none of these wonderful women or their vehicles got wrecked on Fraser. We made it! <laughs> well done, ladies. Time to pop the corks and graduate. So congratulations, girls. You've all graduated from Girls Got Grit with Glamour. After a well-deserved, restful night's sleep in our comfortable beds, it's time to be indulged and rewarded. This is the Island Day Spa, and it's the cherry on top of the Girls Got Grit Glamour. I might not know much about off-road driving before this weekend, but now I'm in my comfort zone. Hi, girls. Ah, oh, this is glamour. Time for us to board the Kingfisher Bay Ferry and say a sad goodbye. 
What a great weekend. I feel like I've not only made terrific new friends, but I'm obviously glowing from my spa treatment, wouldn't you say? Literally. <laughs> but I've seen and learnt so much, seriously. Thank you, Roger. It's been my pleasure because I just love jumping in a four-wheel drive and getting out to discover all the hidden beauty of our wonderful country. For more information on ARB products and services, head to your local ARB store or jump on the website, arb.com.au. To find the perfect 4x4 for your next adventure, see the experts at any of the Motorama dealership or go to motorama.com.au. If you'd like to experience all that Kingfisher Bay Resort has on offer, check out their website, kingfisherbay.com. And for Girls Got Grit, check out this website. So check out the new Creek to Coast website, creektocoast.com.au. Should we say goodbye to Fraser? I reckon. Bye, Fraser. Bye, bye, Fraser. It was fantastic. Creek to Coast is made in proud partnership with BCF, boating, camping, fishing, this is a living. Our vehicles are supplied and serviced by the Motorama Group.